Hey YouTube, I wanted to share a glue that has worked amazingly well to solvent weld. Just like ABS cement solvent welds ABS, PLA parts together. And that's using a little known, yeah, maybe it's not little known, but at least in my circles, very little known glue called acrylic cement. Specifically, this stuff. This stuff, holy cannoli, has beaten out super glue, E6000, pretty much every other glue I recommend. Everything just short of thermal welding parts together in terms of part strength. Like it will literally break somewhere else on a PLA part before the glue comes undone. That's how strong it is. So anyways, I just wanted to show you and um, demonstrate with this uh, broken Pikachu, oops, from uh, this last weekend when I was at the USA Science, no, no, it was Science Fest USA in LA, um, where it was, Literally, this Pikachu had the torture test of torture test being dropped multiple times <laughs> by uh, by random school children. So, giving Pikachu some much needed love and repairs so he can be back on the trade show circuit. My name's Yasu. I run a little 3D print shop called Hero Creations where I make props, armors, and other replicas from rad things like your favorite video games, movies, and television shows. Anyways, let's jump into it. Now I want to pause for a moment and thank today's sponsor, which is SaintSmart, who was kind enough to sponsor this video and a ton of my past projects, including two different versions of Genji from Overwatch, some miscellaneous small prop builds that I'm working on some video uh, content for, and most importantly, my big build of this year, which is T51 Nuka-Cola Power Armor. Without them, I wouldn't have learned so much about working with TPU, and in general, furthering the 3D printing experience that I can then pass that experience and knowledge onto all of you. So huge shout out and thanks to them. In the description below, I actually have a coupon code for their filaments and various 3D printing accessories and procs for 8% off. So highly recommend checking them out. They make some of the most badass TPU I've ever tried. And believe me, I've tried a lot of TPU, some of it and to downright bad and theirs is some of the best I've worked with. So anyways, let's get into the meat of gluing PLA parts together. Anyways, so a couple of precautions to note when it comes to handling this stuff compared to other glues is you absolutely want to be wearing gloves. Nitrile gloves is my recommendation. No, no latex, no um, any other types of gloves. Use nitrile. Otherwise, this stuff tends to I don't wanna say it burns your hands, but makes your hands really dry. It's uh, a similar to the effect I found, like if you get acetone on you, that dries up and eventually kind of flakes off. No fun at all. So gloves is a definite must. It also has a very heady fumes. So you definitely wanna have a good respirator because I have no idea what's, in terms of the harm, what, what kind of effects this has on your, you know, breathing it in. I don't particularly want to find out in anywhere. I just don't want to find out. <laughs> uh, and especially I don't want to get can lung cancer or something down the line from using glues like these. As long as you take the, the necessary precautions as recommended on, uh, yeah, it's, there's a bunch of whole cautions on the back of this thing and I'm sure there's an MSDS lying around somewhere. Definitely read and follow the instructions and play it safe, folks. Anyways, let's go into gluing this Pikachu. All right, so hopefully you can understand me talking with uh, my respirator on. Like, hello. Yeah. So here we have poor Pikachu's ear that I'm just going to glue together. So you got your acrylic cement. This is a uh, weld on uh, 16. Now there's a lot of different weld ons. I like the 16 because it's uh, it's um, a very gel like glue. Ooh. And I just had a, a bunch of back there. I'm just gonna, it pours out pretty quickly. So you just gotta go, just a little smattering of the edges. That, and then we just put the piece on top and we press in place. Now we'll wanna get a paper towel or something to wipe up the excess because it does dry hard. But basically, uh, for the uninitiated, this is a solvent weld. So it literally contains chemicals within it that dissolves PLA. 
and uh, literally uh, chemically fuses the two parts together. Really clever stuff. Pretty much makes it like one, you know, two separate pieces into one piece of plastic. Now it's not as strong as a thermal weld where you're literally melting plastic together, but it comes pretty close. So definitely as far as, far as gluing goes, it's a really strong way. So you want to let that kind of chill and do a thing, depending on how much glue you put down. Usually I found it takes about a minute to five minutes to completely set and harden. And, and word of warning, make sure your alignment is good and everything and make adjustments as quickly as possible because once it's set, that sucker ain't gonna break. So anyways, I'm gonna play it a little bit faster and loose and glue up some of these other parts. Like you can see where I kind of delaminated here. This wasn't the greatest print. Like you can see all kinds of fails and I'm not sure why I'm probably salvaging this when I probably could reprint it way better, but I figure it'd be a nice, nice piece that I have here to recycle and uh, show off this awesome glue. So let's do that. Yeah, this stuff does go very, it goes out very quickly. But the nice thing I found is this stuff goes for like six to eight dollars on Amazon. So, which is that's, I don't know if you guys are buy where you're buying, you know, glues from, but that is amazingly cheap for something as specialty as, um, as this acrylic cement. This stuff, it's not watery, but it's like a gel. So. Be mindful, especially if you have dense, dense infills, uh, or not dense, uh, very sparse infills, to make sure you try to get it as much on the edges as possible. Hey, look at that, see? In just a few minutes, it's setting. I'm able to glue it together pretty quick. Make sure that's not there. Anyways, let's switch up and get this attached to the rest of the head. So, and we're back. Now we're just going to glue the top section like this into, yeah, okay, that's easy enough. Get a acrylic cement, just do the edges. Normally if I had not as sparse of an infill, because it's like this is like 10% infill on this Pikachu, I would also put some in the center, but unfortunately it would just fall through and be mostly useless. So I'm just going to drop that down very carefully, but quickly, because mind you, this stuff evaporates off fast. And once it evaporates off, well, you're going to be in for a bit of a, a not fun time. Ooh, ooh, no, no, no. Yeah, so I see where, why this split, because there's just a layer. So I'm just wiping off the excess. Make sure it's all lined, it's all lined. Oof, but these are some gnarly layer lines. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh yeah, I think I do remember what I was thinking is I was printing this extremely fast, so I probably didn't have my temperatures high enough. So lesson folks, you want good prints? Don't rush it. I feel like I definitely want to reprint this Pikachu at some point. Maybe make a bigger Pikachu, because this was, I think, so I did this on the CRX and it just occupies only small area. Anyways, I'm not going to bore you with my rambling because this is acrylic cement. Works amazing for bonding PLA parts together and PLA plus. I also tested it there too. Works like a treat. Better than super glue, cleaner than thermal welding with a you know a soldering iron or so a lot less cleanup and I'm definitely going to do a much more in-depth thorough video as to other styles of gluing, different types of joints, you know just a uh, everything you ever want to know about glues but you're afraid to ask. Anyways that is how you glue parts together or repair prints, like in the case of this Pikachu, with acrylic cement. Stuff works amazing for bonding PLA and PLA Plus together. Tested both of those. I will be doing at a very future date, hopefully in a couple weeks, a more in-depth guide to gluing various filaments together, including PLA to PLA, ABS to ABS, PTG, TPU, all those together covering different um, joinery techniques you know flat surfaces together versus using pegs and dowels or maybe dovetail joints and some of the crazier stuff i've been cooking up in the modeling side of things anyways you'll see it all here on the hero creation channel so i highly recommend you drop a subscribe like this video comment if you found anything interesting or you got more questions i always try to 
reply to all the comments I get. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Happy printing.